so now we're talking about the three piece ruffles series. These are the coral bells. So if you have a hard time finding something to plant in shady areas, and if you don't want to put any mulch or rocks and you just want to bring a beautiful foliage in an area where you otherwise maybe didn't think that you could have plants, well, these are going to be for you. And they change color in the fall. So it's not just the leaves of the trees, these change color, which I love the idea of that. Item M61836, special low price, first day being presented at that special low price of $18.66 for three pieces. Wow. First day presented on Easy Pay and last day presented on Easy Pay. These were new just the end of last month and they've already been very popular. So tell us about these, we're getting three pieces, Are they, they're all different colors, right? Yes, they're all different colors, and as you nicely put, these are problem solvers in the garden where we have areas that we can't traditionally grow other things, like a very shady spot. These can handle full Ooh, shade. look how pretty that border is. Or part sun, like you see there. They're so versatile. Now what's cool about these is they never die back. Even in the midst of snow, they're still there. They're evergreen. Wow. So that's pretty special. But you can put them in many places that are part sun to no sun, which makes them extremely valuable pretty much anywhere in anyone's garden. Because yeah. there's so many little nooks and crannies that we want to fill out that, you know, just something else just won't work because it didn't get just enough light or like this under this This is how tree. I want to use them. It's awesome, right? Yeah, that is so beautiful and so much more interesting than just mulch all the way around. And as we were speaking about before with the cone flowers, mulch is expensive and it looks great for a couple of weeks and then you're done and you have to do it again and it's it heavy. It does and, and it costs a lot of money. Right. Um, it smells, <laughs> well, and it's, and it's, like, it's backbreaking effort to, to actually right. shovel it all out there. So, you know, we prefer always to beautify our garden with living plants as mm -hmm. opposed to decomposed, chopped up little pieces of ones, right. uh, like mulch. And so here's the idea with this. You're getting three pieces. They're long-lived perennials in the garden. That means that they're going to last many, many years to come. And <clears throat> what's special is because they don't die back, you're always going to have something to look at in the yard. Mm -hmm. But once spring hits around, these are really going to perk up in terms of their color because they get a little bit darker as fall comes and then even well, that, more dark as winter comes. Okay, that's what I was going to say. After fall, then what color are they in the winter? Great question. They turn uh, very much like fall-ish sorts of colors. Okay. So one of them gets more red tones and then one gets more like uh, brown and molten gold tones and the lime here. So we have midnight, we have chocolate, we have lime. And you know, all three of them do a slow change over time, which is really pretty. But these plants, what makes this collection so special, I really want to emphasize. Okay. Because everything we've talked about so far is pretty common for all coral bells. But there are hundreds of varieties of coral bells out there on the market. And why this collection is so special is first of all, as the name implied, ruffled, that because this is a, a leaf-based plant, I mean, the foliage is what's attractive. Right. We want to get the most out of the foliage. And these three varieties have very detailed uh, ruffled edges, yeah, which so produce a, a extravagant look because a lot of coral bells can be just kind of flat and drab. Okay. So first we have that. And then second of all, we have time-tested many, many varieties of coral bells. And we have found these to not only look the best, but to perform the best in the garden with the easiest amount of care and you know they're just some of the most dependable so here's actually what you're getting and <clears throat> so when you get these home you'll notice they've already gone through their first winter now um, that means they have a really well established root system and when you put them in the ground they're going to want you know to be watered in that first day okay. and then you know depending on where you put them you put them where it's total shade all the time they'll be happy and that also means you'll be happy because you don't need to water that much. The sun's not drying <laughs> it out. If you put them in a place with a little bit more sun, you may want to water them like once a week. Okay. You know, but the, this isn't something that you need to put close to the hose. You don't, you're not going to be dragging it out there all the time right. because they're in areas generally that don't that get dry moist. out. Yeah. Yes. This, look at this green color. Isn't that vibrant and so pretty? And then contrasted with these two different colors, 
what do you call them? The chocolate and chocolate at midnight. Let's midnight. see them in the garden again with these awesome images that we have. So you can see there, that's actually kind of a mix. It's in the beginning of fall. So you're starting to see some of the coloration change. Mm -hmm. And you also see these little flowers. Now, we haven't talked about them. They're not, you know, a big point with the, the coral bells, but you do get dainty little fairy-like flowers out of them. Now there's okay. the chocolate and that will produce kind of red tones through the fall. And there's the lime. <coughs> lime is a perfect name for it. <laughs> yeah, for right. Color. It's the perfect uh, color to have in the garden because a lot, a lot of plants have darker green foliage. To get that lime green, there's hardly anything. Usually, plants produce that color when they're sick or they need something. <laughs> oh no! But here, These it's don't actually what we want, right. and so they don't look sick. They look awesome. Yes. So it's hard to get that. <laughs> they look sick. That bright, yeah, that, yeah. They look really good. So, and then you can see all three colors. The darkest ones are the midnight. The medium, like gold tone red, is the um, wow. chocolate, and then the lime was there. So there's the midnight again. And you can see here the, the, purple. the ruffling, the purple veining with almost like a silvery, that's in the height of summer. As time goes on, you'll see in the next image that they become more dark. Okay. So, I love that border look. That is so yeah. gorgeous. Now that would be a few collections, yeah. which I highly recommend because, you know, three plants, you can do about three feet of uh, right, so if you wanted distance. to do a border, you, kind yeah, of just kinda measure that and think, okay, yeah, cause one, foot, one set. One plant is one foot, you're getting three plants in each collection. Okay, that's a good way to go. So measure it. If you have 10 feet, 9 feet, let's mm -hmm. say, make it easy math, you get three sets. And because we have everything on five or six easy pays until, well, for the next like 40 minutes, you could do that. Um, $3.73 is your easy payment on this. Over a thousand of these have been ordered since they were introduced. We are still quite busy on the phone lines, so please be patient. Or if you can, head to QVC.com. Um, even if you've never done that before, it's really easy. You just go to QVC.com. On the home page at the top, there is a search bar, and you just put in the item number. For instance, for these ruffle, the three-piece ruffle series coral bells, M61836. We ship these to you when they're ready to plant. So Derek, 